I live here. Man DVD Cartoon Classics an officer, assault and battery, trespassing, disturbing the peace, miscellaneous misdemeanors, public nuisance, traffic violations, going through a boulevard stop, jaywalking, triple parking, conduct unbecoming to a wabbit, nice looking chap, oh. violating traffic regulations. Attention! Why, look at you. You call yourself a Maori. You're a disgrace to the regiment. I'm gonna drum you out of the service.
catch me? Why, you couldn't even catch a cold. You know what I'm gonna do to you? I'm gonna punch you right square in the nose. <laughs> for a wet. Bang! 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 No more bullets. <laughs> Come on, buck up. Don't cry. I'll give myself up. Here, take me in. You will really mean it? It's not another twig. No, go ahead, snap him on. Okay, Doc, let's go. Ready, Mr. Wabbit? Yeah, go ahead, Doc. I'm ready. Before you die, you can make one last wish. Yeah? Well, uh, let's see now. Um, I wish, um, I wish, um, I wish I was in Dixie. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, the camp always sings sing this song. Do that, do that. The camp always back by my long. Fantastic, isn't it? Wine to run all night. Wine to run all day. I'll bet my money on a pop till night. Somebody there on the in order to exist. to exist. So...
to the courtesy of the Sterling Silver Fox Farm. Ladies, this is the year for foxes. Yes, foxes have really come into their own. Wherever you see smartly dressed people, you'll see foxes this season. On Fifth Avenue, on Hollywood Boulevard, yes, and even Miami. 
The discriminating woman everywhere will insist on having a genuine fox around her neck. Now don't forget, ladies, for the best in foxes, go to the Sterling Silver Fox Farm. Sold already quick. Bub, we're busting out of here tonight, see? Nine o'clock. You're with us, ain't you? Getting out of here? Out of here? Oh, no, no, no. I just got in here. <laughs> I'm practically sold already. Yeah, to, to Mrs. Van Doe. He, he, he said so. Hey, are you nuts? Now listen, bub. They're all going out, see? And you're with us. Or... Uh... Oh, uh... Well, uh... I, I'd like to go with you, sure. I, I want to go with you. But, uh... The, the door's locked. I can't get out. No key. No key? Nine o'clock call. I want to get out of here. Thank <laughs> you. 
comes. You don't want me. <laughs> uh, I, I'm no silver fox. <laughs> I never was a silver fox. <laughs> Look. <laughs> no silver. <laughs> silver Schmilver. As long as you're a fox. And that's what's biting me. That's what. Yeah? Will I... Sheepdog, I am. I gotta watch a sheep on account of the wolf will get him if I don't watch him. See, I'm a sheepdog, yeah, but he ain't gonna get him, no sir, no sorry, yo. Oh, cause I'm a sheepdog, I am, and I'm too smart for him, I am, yeah. as a sheep and mingle with a flock. Tell you sheep not to leave the flock. I'm a con at the wolf or get you. And then you'll be sorry because you didn't listen to me when I told you. But you sheep never wanna. Gee, what an ugly looking sheep. But you sheep never wanna listen to me. No, you never do wanna. Now get back in there and stay there. Why the dirty no good? Well, hello. What have we here? Mutton. Ah, t t tender. Mm, a bit scrawny. Boss! Oh, boss! Boss! Oh, boss! Boss! Uh, uh, boss! Boss! I, I ain't the suspicious kind, but there's a wolf in sheep's clothing among us. And it don't look like he's going to no masquerade party. Mm-mm. A wolf? Come on now, come on. I know you're in there and you ain't gonna get away with nothing on a con. I'm right on the job. Uh... So you better come on, because I know one of you is a wolf. Yeah. eyes, filling me with a madness that keeps repeating, I love thee, I love thee, I love thee. He thinks he's pretty. 
pretty tricky, he does. Uh, I'll show him I will, I will, I will. La 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 It's me. La 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 Why, Grandma, what a big nose you have. Yes, it is quite a profile, isn't it? And Grandma, what big eyes you have. You have beautiful eyes yourself. They're like limpid sapphire pools in the shimmering moonlight. They are? Really? <laughs> You're not kidding me, huh? Well, what do you know? They are pretty. <laughs> You're right, my eyes are pretty. They... Huh? You know, I don't think he meant a word he said about my eyes. <laughs> if I don't get a haircut soon, the dog catchers are gonna get me. is one of the most ancient of sports. Here is a modern Robin Hood in action. A bullseye, another bullseye, and another, and another. Indeed, a true champion. A favorite indoor sport which requires a steady hand and perfect timing is billiards. Let's watch this difficult shot. popular indoor sport. Each winter, ski jumpers from all over the world go to Lake Placid to test their skill. This is considered to be the highest longest and most treacherous ski jump ever constructed. Only those with iron nerve and daredevil courage ever attempt this hazardous feat. And now, about to undertake this perilous jump is Pavo Nervi. Good luck, old man. Happy landing. The high hurdle race is one of the most exciting events of a track and field meet. We're just in time to see the start of the 120 high hurdle race. And they're off. Aquabells get in the swim for the women's national championships. And here's the
the finish of the 50-yard freestyle race. This attractive miss is the new women's champion. Basil Barracuda, former Olympic star, demonstrates a few swimming strokes. He shows you the breast stroke. And the backstroke. And now the crawl. For grace and beauty, nothing excels perfect dives. This is the jackknife dive. The beautiful swan dive. And here is another very popular dive. Crew racing is a sport that requires flawless timing and teamwork. Notice their perfect precision. The six-day bicycle race is an annual event at Madison Round Garden. Time. Let's take a glance at that popular catcher, Gabby Hernet, in action. Come on, old boy, old boy, put it right in her old kid. Oh, give me your duck right down the middle, old boy, old boy, right in your groove, old kid. Come on, old boy, old boy, can't see it all, kid. Put it right in her old boy. Little pepper out there, tuck it up there now. Come on, let's go, let's go. Not too good. That's the pitching in there, old kid. Come on, old kid, old kid, get him in there, out of your old boy. Let's have that big boy. That's the old kid right down your alley, old boy. Get him in the old hole. Come on, put it on top of it. Come on, put him in a car like That's the old pepper in a kid. Football attracts such capacity crowds that seating has become a problem. Now here is the latest ideal stadium, the dream of every football fan, where every seat is on the 50-yard line. Now we go down to the field and show you a few exciting moments from this thrilling game. Signals. 18, 36, 52, 27, eight. McCullough through the center of the line and there's a pilot. Is it a touchdown? Did he make it? Is it a touchdown? Is it? Mm, it could be. For the benefit of those in the audience who couldn't follow the play, we'll explain it by means of this animated diagram. From a box formation, the backfield shifts into a modified T formation. The left half runs out into the flat zone. The tailback drops back into the left wing position. The quarterback drops back into the tailback position. Ball is snapped back to the fullback as the running guard pulls out of the line. The right end takes out the left tackle. Left half laterals to the right left wing. Left wing laterals to the left halfback. The right half tosses shovel pass against the 2-2-1 defense. Tackle takes out the flanker man. Center blocks out the right guard. The center passes the ball. Tackle goes around in. Signal's called. Forward pass to the fullback. Left end catches the pass. Fumbles the ball. Center blocks out the guard. Spin through tackle. Quarterback straight out of the end. Run for touchdown. And there you are. And now the event of events. The Indianapolis Speed Classic. We're in the last lap of this grueling race. Car number 65 is in the lead. Followed by car number 17. And here comes a midget car. And now here comes the winner across the finish line. Let's get a close up of the victor. Won't you say a few words?
Ain't love beautiful? <sighs> and let's not get nosy, bud. to be my girl. <laughs> I love <laughs> No, I wouldn't like to be a girl. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> she's a regular heady lammer. <laughs> How about a little kiss there, beautiful? <laughs>
chin will soon be knocking at your door and you ought to be in the tall man with the high hat will be coming down your way get your savings out when you hear him shout any bonds today come on and get him folks come on skip right up and get him any bonds today bonds of freedom that's what i'm selling any bonds today Scrape up the most you can. Here comes the freedom man asking you to buy a share of freedom today. Ah, many stamps today. Give kiddies. We'll be blessed if we all invest in the USA. Sammy, ah, my uncle Sammy. Here comes the freedom man. It can't make tomorrow's plan. Not, Not unless, unless you buy a share of freedom today.
children. Good night. Good night, Mammy. Precious little honey lambs. Willie, you all hand over that book. Ah, Claire to goodness. You is too young to be reading that trash. And besides, if you all try to catch that worm, the old fox will catch you. The fox? What's that, Mammy? Oh, he's this tall. Round green eyes and a long pointed nose and long sharp teeth and he just loves to eat little birds just like you. Now you all shut them big brown eyes and get to sleep. Oh, I ain't scared of no old fox. I'm gonna get myself up early and get me that worm for breakfast. Yeah. And the fox will get you. Oh, who's the
But there's one thing us early birds gotta watch out for around here. The fox. The fox? Yeah, my mammy done told me that he eats little birds. She says he's a this tall. He, he, he's tall as you is. And she says he's got red, big, green eyes. It, just like you all. And a pointed nose. Uh, uh, like yours. In long, sharp teeth. It's just like it. It's just like it. Uh oh. <laughs> Honey, you try it. Father, he's been the seagoing slob, a sailor. Why, let me tell you something. When your father and I were first married, we lived in the Canary Islands. <gasps> then the stork brought you lovely children. Oh, and I was all so happy. But your father, the rum-soaked old seagull, couldn't stand being anchored in one harbor for five minutes. <laughs> so he slipped his moorings and set sail for Hawaii. No, Ma, it was Catalina. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, set sail for Catalina. Oh, I used to burn a little light in the window. Hoping that someday he'd come back to us. But he never did, the needle brain. Now, Peter, now you don't want to be a sailor, do you? <laughs>
Today I am a man. See? Oh boy, can I go? Can I be a sailor? I want to be a sailor. Will you let me be a sailor? Can I go with you? Okay, matey, but you gotta remember, see? I am the captain's kid. I do the thing my old man did. For I'm the kid, the captain's kid, and half a fucking ear. All aboard, come on by heck. Your job will be to scrub the deck. Or else I'll twist your leather neck. For I'm a buccaneer. Ship ahoy! Raise the pirate's flag. When we get the swag, we'll sail for Treasure Island. That's where I'll hide the gold. And keep it there till I grow old. There's not a pirate half as bold. For I'm the captain's kid. See? <laughs> Mutiny on the county, don't you think? Or don't you?
done that. Insomnia. <laughs> was never a meant uh, for me. Although I, I hate, I said I hate to leave uh, my uh, cell, uh, mateys. It's okay, Butch. We all understand. My loving buddies are uh, sorry. Uh, so very, very, very sorry, warden dear. About I'm uh, screaming from here. Now I am going to go. Yes, I am going to scram. Oh, yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to scram. I'm going to take it on the lamb. A go! Da, bye. Bye-bye. Nice voice there. Nice voice. Great possibilities. Fine boy. Fine boy. He's gone. He's gone. He escaped. Why don't somebody do something? Do something. Say, that's a good idea. Maybe I can do something. Sure.
Robin Hood. Who's gonna be Robin Hood? You, you're gonna be Robin Hood. Who's gonna be Robin Hood? <laughs> you're gonna be Robin Hood. All right, you can be little John. Now, let's see, who's gonna be the rich old villain? Now, who's gonna be the old villain? Now, let's see, who's gonna be the mean old rich old villain? Who's gonna be the old... Me? Don't get so excited. All you gotta do is march to the forest with your treasure, and we'll rob you and give it to the poor. Won't that be fun? He wants to be the villain. Don't ya? Little squirrels, little fat 
juicy squirrels, especially with carrots and potatoes and, uh, and uh, onions. <laughs> Doesn't that just make your mouth water? down the door. Look, fellas, get me out of here, see? Get me oh. out of here. Look, fellas, please get me out of here. Guess we'll have Fox too tonight, boys. Look, fellas, I'm young, strong, healthy. Don't let him kill me. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm a prey.
Fisher. Give this gentleman his money back. Now we have the world's smallest entertainer. Teeny, tiny, teensy, tinny, tinny, tim. Let me thrill again to the soft, sweet tones of your voice. <laughs> and now, folks... She'll be coming around the bed, and when she comes, she'll be coming around the bed! <laughs> and now, folks, let's see who wins the cup. one of the country's most interesting zoos. Here we find the wolf in his natural setting. Next, a pack of camels. A 
North American Greyhound. And here, two bucks and five cents. And here, two friendly elves. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. No zoo would be complete without a monkey cage. <laughs> nature's own weatherman, the little groundhog, and his shadow. Over here, we find... <laughs> hey, sir, hey, hey, don't annoy that sign. It's dangerous. Can't you read that sign? You'd better take my advice and leave him alone. Shame, shame, you're a bad boy. The skunk cage is always a center of interest. Well, we're lucky. It's feeding time for the giraffe. Listen now, fella. This is the second time I've had to speak to you. Leave that line alone. I'm warning you. I'm a bad boy. And here we come to a family of white rabbits. Of course, you all know how fast they multiply. <laughs> Now, over here in the birdhouse, we find the wise old owl. Who? You. Me? Yes. Ooh. An interesting bird is the South African talking parrot. Polly want a cracker? <clears throat> I said, uh, Polly want a cracker? Nah, give me a short beer. Another interesting bird is the Alcatraz jailbird. I didn't do it, I tell you. Okay, I'm afraid, see? Yeah, I'm innocent. I want to see the DA. I can't do this to me, see? I can't hang this on me. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it, I tell you. Oh, he did so do it. I saw him with my very own eyes. So there. Over here, we find Mother Ostrich on her nest. You do have something to grow about. Oh, 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 look out, look out. Well, a jackpot. <laughs> for the last time, you'd better stop annoying that line if you know what's good for you. I'm a bad boy. New to the zoo is an elephant just in from Africa. Hello, Express Company. This is Joe Jumbo. We'll send it up right away. You know, those guys have had my trunk for a week. And here we have... Uh, well, <laughs> these are some things we had left over from that last New Year's party. Pacing back and forth in their cage, we find two restless panthers. 
Bread and butter. 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 Well, here we have J. Wellington Buttonhook. Mr. Buttonhook used to thrill thousands at the circus by putting his head in a lion's mouth. In this cage, we find the Rocky Mountain Wildcat. Hey, bud, hey, hey, just a minute, bud. Tell me, just what made you wild? What made me wild? What made me wild? Well, I'll tell you. They called my name out at bank night, and I wasn't there! Well, I guess that little fellow finally took my advice and went home. I'm a bad boy.
Thank you. 
walk, a little talk, a little bench, a little dark, a little who's this, a little what's this, and a great big bunch of you. What up, what up? A little kiss, a little sigh, a little when, a little why, a little who's this, a little what's this, and a great big bunch of you. I'm like a robin in the spring that wants to sing all day. I'll pawn my watch and everything if you'll agree to what I say. A little house, a little lot. What have we got? Well, you know what. A little who's this, a little what's this, and a great big bunch of you. A little lot. What have we got? Oh, well, you know what. A little who's this, a little what's this, on the great big bunch of you. Happy. Yes, sir. Oh, who's this? 
stealing all our squaws. Now I know what has become of Sally. And every time you kiss your girl, who is she thinking of? Crosby! Alonzo!
I have not studied music. I do not know my notes. I'm just a slave to music. No time to sow my oats. <sighs> not much. Study music, I do not know my notes. I play piano and I play by ear. Hey! 
I have a lot of hugs and kisses and caresses that you and I can share. I can turn a lot of babies into youngsters when spring is in the air. When the world gets back and silly on a perfect coffee moon night Let's set some moon like for two
There's the queen. The queen? The queen. 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 The queen in the parlor, 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 has a ding ding. Oh, a tea, yes, a tea, eating and an omning. Very happy was she. The king is in the courtyard. Yes, sir. Waiting for the queen. Yes, sir. But the queen is in the parlor. And she won't be seen. Says who? Says we. Says thou? Says, says we. Says I. The king of the king of the court and the herald the entire parade. Ha! <laughs> 
They're making toys for little girls and boys in the shanty where Santa Claus lives. They're taking tears and turning them to joys in the shanty where Santa Claus lives. Oh, boy, I'd like to go with you. You've been so good, you'll see that wish come true. A bunch of toys for me In the shanty for Santa Claus lives Come on, let's go Ready? Yeah Thank you. 